relieved of duty. In tonight's People Taking Action, News Channel 3 and our community partners, Southern Bank, are shining our spotlight on a new produced firefighter who was off duty at the time, but still took action, jumping into murky waters at night, saving a Hampton educator from drowning. And he didn't stop there once he got him out of the water. We had said goodbye. See you later. Michael Everything. Small had just finished a day of boating with friends I when I heard the splash. Then I heard Karen hollering. So you ran back down here? Ran back down here. His friend Kevin Davis had slipped, hit his head, and disappeared into the waters of this Hampton Marina. So I just jumped in, looked down in the bottom here, came up, went back down, went under the boat. All right, you can see the visibility in the water right now is not that great, and it's the middle of the day. Imagine it's 1030 at night, and you're trying to find someone in the water. But Michael wasn't giving up, and after his third time going down, he came up and saw his friend Kevin was floating under this dock. And you could just see the top of his head, and he was in what's called a, a dead man floating position. He's a hero. He's a a hero. thankful Kevin Davis, True. an assistant principal at Hampton's Kickadan High School, is back at work doing just fine. I happen to have this angel there with me that night. And uh, not once, not twice, but three times, he went down into the dark water of Hampton Creek. It wasn't just finding him in those murky waters. Michael had to get him out. I was holding him like this, holding him up, treading water, and I got down and pushed him here and carrying forward at the same time. Onto the dock. Onto the dock. After spitting up a lot of water and coming to, Kevin didn't want to go to the hospital, telling his wife and friend, don't call 911. It's a good thing they ignored him. Ironically enough, in June, we had had a class in the fire department on near drownings. So I knew he had to go because people think that they're okay because he's breathing, he's talking, okay. he's alert. And once they lay down, it's a silent death and it feel, his lungs are filled with water. And went to the hospital and um, they said you need to get his family here. The doctor told us that and they did not believe he was gonna make it that night nor the other two days he was on life support. But after four days in the intensive care unit, all Kevin has to show of his brush with death this little scar, which is why, Michael, we want to present you with the News Channel 3 People Taking Action Award. Our community partner, Southern Bank, also has a $100 Visa gift card for you. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. And I would like to also thank Southern Bank also for this generous donation. And for Michael, he just believes he was in the right place at the right time. He is a humble man, but he saved my husband's life. And for that, I will never, I will never forget that ever in my life. Neither will Kevin Davis. I was uh, thinking about my family, thinking about my wife, thinking about my son, thinking about uh, life, how close I came to losing it. It's like he wow. saved his life well, yeah. twice. I mean, yeah. he got found him in that murky water, got and him out of the water, and then insisted that he go to the hospital where they x-rayed and his chest, his, his, his lungs were filled, filled with water. My goodness, my goodness. And yeah, he, uh, he definitely is a hero. And so neat to see that they gave that donation, uh, that he could go maybe buy something for some water gear. I don't know. We want to thank our community partner, Southern Bank. And if you know of someone doing something positive in the community, send us an email and uh, we will shine our spotlight on them. And speaking of donations, News Channel 3 is taking action to help homeless children in Hampton.